this is Stevio here. We are back on Custom Crew. Today we got cotton harvesters. So we are on county lines. I know they really, this is versioned off of, I think, uh, Kansas, the one I'm on at least. So Kansas doesn't really grow uh, cotton, but I couldn't really find a good map that was from Texas or Florida. My Emerald Coast just wouldn't load like, I don't know what was wrong with it, but we will check out. So this is the Cotton DLC, so the CP690 John Deere, so Cotton Picker 690. We got six of these Cotton Pickers, all on trailers, so let's jump in one of these quick. Looks pretty good inside. Everything lights up. I like the the graphics inside, very uh, FS19. So this was a lot better than the mod version, if you didn't know. So the mod was more like FS15 version. Better shut this off. We don't want that running while we're pulling it down the road. So it's awful weird how these things fold up. Just look, it just barely clears that back of that trailer just inches it actually fits very well on this trailer so pretty good looking cotton picker if I have to say so I was pretty excited about this DLC of course we got the Peterbelts pulling it I just can't I just love this coloring of these Peterbelts the chrome on front looks so good so I just that's my main trunk truck I like so back here uh, I guess I don't really get to play with this type of equipment because these aren't really let's say American so a fast track they are in America if you don't know there's there's definitely some fast tracks getting in America because people have the need so basically because we would have to haul these to the sale area, cotton sale, or the cotton gin, or whatever we're selling the cotton to. I figured why not have a fast track because I don't get to play with these much and they're actually pretty cool looking if I have to say. This is definitely some foreign good engineering. It's definitely weird how different uh, farmers they are compared to US and foreign like they were using speed disk a long time ago and now speed disks are just coming into uh, basically all the manufacturers are making speed disk so I'm actually pretty cool I think I this 3 8330 sorry fast track I think it looks pretty bad I have to say bad in a good way also we got this weird looking thing so this is what we're gonna load anything that we need to on the edge of the field or into the truck this is definitely a different looking vehicle so this is a sin track Definitely different looking. I just was more curious than anything. Like, this, talk about the view for a front loader. This thing is freaking nice. You can't beat this view for a front loader. It definitely has a weird rear end. So that back rear end is actually an add-on. So it's a little bitty piece, but I figure we need the extra weight because this thing has a pretty hefty lifting uh, front loader so it's basically supposed to handle all the wheel loaders attachments so that's pretty hefty so the only thing I saw that's bad about this mod I don't know if it's just I can't figure out how to get these three points they're awful low so when you put a weight on there, it basically drags on the ground. So I don't know if it's something mod conflict or just an issue with this mod or just an issue with the add-on here. 
don't know. Of course we have our Peterbilt service truck. Got to have that everywhere we go. Every custom crew has a Peterbilt. And we. this is our foreman truck here. Good looking Ford truck. I like the back of this, how oversized loads and everything it just looks so cool. So we need to get these to the field. Man, this one's tilting. I guess I need to shove, move that over just slightly. I didn't realize I backed up that bad. Like, I got all the other ones fairly good, but I did not hit the mark on that, on this one gotta move that over slightly so looks like a few of these I didn't hit the mark I don't know what I was thinking so we'll move them over and then we'll get these headed to the field here quickly first semi is off So, there's our first, or last actually, harvester. We've got a little bit of gap in between these. There's a second to a last. Make these things actually not taking that corner too badly there. this is our first you can see the wrapper right behind there a little bit different looking good take that nice and slow there buddy got a nice little feel right here of course our cotton is ripe and ready for harvesting so we can get these harvesters all ready to go Looks like that thing barely clears right there. So, there you have it. We got all six harvesters back to the yard safely. So we got a little grass patch here, which is convenient because we need a lot of room for this many harvesters. Looks like only one kind of got an angle there. So... That was the only one, but the rest of them, they held on. We'd really like to find a strap for harvesters on these trailers. That would be nice. Or some type of tie-down. Uh, of course, these came pretty good. I mean, obviously, there's nothing much that can mess up. So we'll get all these unloaded, and then we will start harvesting. All right, so let's get this first harvester on the field here about hitting other harvesters not gonna break any land speed record with these that's a weird air cleaner they have there definitely different fold this back up into position harvester position uh, folds that's interesting Plan on going a little ways here. Harvesting. First time I got to harvest with one of these, the new John Deere. Definitely good having 
up with John Deere end case. Looks like uh, we're making fairly good yield. I didn't get my unit convert mod into this, so if you don't know, unit convert mod and seasons will doesn't mesh. So basically, how season breeds the crops yield and everything, it messes with it. So that's why you don't see tonnage down there. Definitely different how these things fold up. I'm surprised how narrow the back uh, rims are. So we got all six harvesters running now. Looking good. Not for sure if we have a bale yet or not. This field is definitely hilly, so I believe we should have a bale here coming up. So hopefully these things unload them with course play. We're going to find out. So we got all six, a little bit different running six of these with course play there weren't some of it I had to kind of cheat the horizontal offset because some of them weren't exactly set right I think I got them all set right now so hopefully they're good throughout the whole time so basically when you have course play it reads the center line so it right here because there's six of them so right here would be the center line and each of these should offset to that line. Uh, usually course play does that but course play is still in beta and it did have a problem doing that so that's probably the reason. So there is one bale. We've got one bale so far out of all this headlands we have done. So obviously when we have one bale that means all the harvesters would have one bale at this point hopefully I really like the looks of these bales over the cotton modules that the case does I have never ran a cotton picker but I've heard case doesn't make near as the cotton picker John Deere does so it's just like all brands of equipment some company's own one portion so so we have all these going take a view from above as these pickers come by Watches each one of these 690s pass by us. It's pretty cool how these cotton pickers hold a bale to the end of the field so they can drop it close for ease of picking up. Got a lot of pickers in this little area right here. Surprised they're not all crashing together.
close-up view of this cotton picker in action. Would be kind of cool as horse play unloads the second bale at the end of the field. Get a little in cab action here. Watch out the window as all the other cotton pickers go by. Right along in the trailing cotton picker here. Watch as this cotton picker cuts the first pass in this area. Watch as these pickers work on this angled edgeway of this field. Watch as these two pickers just narrowly miss each other. see these harvesters or pickers sorry are making a lot of bales so now we got to pick all these bales up man are they freaking making good time on this field they're going to be done in no time but we need to pick up these bales also because that's in the contract so let's get to work jump into this JCB This JCB sure doesn't go slow, that's for sure. There we go. Loads it nicely. Just barely hit that one. There, now we got a full load. Now we gotta figure out where is cotton gin here. Hopefully we could sell cotton. Black sheep fabrics. Black sheep's fabrics. Okay. We'll take that path. We will record this course so we can have course play take the bales to and from the sell point.
looks like the bale in front sold right away. And the other bales. About 31,000 a bale. Making money. Now we'll reload this guy up. And send him off. And we'll jump into our secondary loader here. Didn't take long to fill this guy up. So now we will dump the other one. Looks like the last harvester is just finishing up. We'll get him to unload here. We'll probably unload here a little bit farther up in the field so that way we have an easier time loading the bales and selling the bales probably should have started loading the bales a little bit sooner and we could have finished all at the same time but oh well There we go. That's the first harvester done. Our black beauty of a JCB is back and ready to get loaded up again. Empty another one out, and now look at all these harvesters just finishing up. Looks like we just have a few more loads with these. Make us another 90,000 at the silver. We'll load these up and park them over there by the pickers. So there you have it folks, thanks for watching this series of Custom Harvest Crews. I'll see you next time on the crew. Later.